All right, so in the previous video, we covered creating a resource, and now we want to create individual pages for these resources or posts. So let's go back to our project and open our post controller. So we covered index, create, and store, and now we want to talk about this show method. And this method is in charge of rendering a page for each specific post or resource. So back to our terminal, that page URL is this one. So it's forward slash posts, and then a dynamic value and the handler method is show in our post controller so first let's create a view for it so just like previous video i'm going to create a new file in pages folder and i'm going to call it show then again we want to say export default function show so let's just return a simple h1 that says post so now we can return this view in the show method in our post controller let's say return inertia show all right so now on our home page we need to add a link to each post so when you click on it it would go to that individual page and we would see the content of that specific post so let's go to our home component and we are rendering our posts here and i'm just going to add a link here that says read more and i also have a class that is called text link if you go to our website this is our link so when i click on this one i want to go to this post now the href for this link should be dynamic now in blade template we would use the route helper function and we would be able to pass the name of the route as well as the dynamic value in this case it's just a post now we don't have that route here and i will show you how you can add it later on but just for now let's add this manually so we want to add the curly brackets here in front of href and then the back ticks so we want to go to forward slash posts and then another forward slash and then i want to add dollar sign curly brackets to add post id so if i click on this read more we go to forward slash posts and then 33 which is the id of our latest post so all we have to do now show that post in our component so you notice in our show handler function we have the post already accepted as a parameter so we want to send that to the view using an array so we want to say post is the post that is being accepted up here so now this post is a prop in our show component so I can accept it here as a prop and instead of hard coding the post, I can say, for example, post body. So back to our website now, if I give it a refresh, we get the text from our post. If we go back to the home page and click on the second one, then we get that text. But now let's style this a bit better and I'm going to just grab everything from the home page. So we have this div that is showing one post and I'm going to grab everything here then and go to our show component and replace this h1 and then I'm going to delete this key attribute we don't need it also this link and now if we go back to our show page it is much better so all of this is done through route model binding and when we send this post id as a parameter to the url then laravel picks up on that and through our handler that is sent to our component now you could leave this as it is and it would work but i'm just going to show you how you can add that route function to your project if you want to use it so there is a package called ziggy and if we go back to inertia documentation on the routing section at the very bottom they talk about this package and there's a link here so if you click on it it'll take you to the github repo for this package so first we need to install it using a composer command I'm going to copy this back to our terminal. I'm going to paste it here. And then back to that GitHub repo, we have a section here for React. So if you click on this one, it will take you to that section and they explain how you can use it. So first we need to import it and then we need to create a variable and then set it to the use route hook from this ZiggyJS. And then we can use that route function just like the route function in a blade component or a template. So in our home component, I'm going to import use route from that package. Now, since we are inside the JS folder, we need to go up three level and then go to vendor, this folder, Titan Co, I believe, and then Ziggy. So this is where that package is. And you could also create an alias for this. So we don't have to type this every time. Then within the function, I'm going to delete this log. We want to create a route variable and set it to that hook, use route. 
So now down here, instead of manually adding the post ID, I can use that route. So I'm going to copy this link, then comment this out, and then paste it here. I'm going to keep this here as a reference, so I'm not going to delete it. Now let's delete this whole thing and use that route function that would works just like the route in a Laravel blade template. So the first argument here is the name of the route. So back to our terminal, this is the route we want to use. The name of that route is posts.show. So let's say posts dot show this route is looking for a post so this is almost done but it's not going to work and in fact if we go back to our website you notice it's broken and that's because we still need to import either the ziggy configuration or we need to use the routes directive in our root document this is much easier so all we have to do is to include this routes directive in our app Dot blade dot PHP. Let's open that document in our project and we just want to use at sign and then routes. So now if we go back to our website, you notice it's back to normal. And if we go to the home page and click on one of these links, we are back to that page. So I think this is cleaner and it's much closer to a Laravel blade template, but you don't have to use it. So that is for this video showing an individual resource. So in the next video, we want to see how we can delete a post.